So you're considering making a move to the Tampa Bay area and you are wondering what's a great place to come that is right off the Gulf of Mexico that has outstanding real estate, maybe some good decent schools, maybe some great schools, good restaurants, golf courses, all the things. Well, in today's episode, we're gonna get into just that. Hey there, if this is your first time to the channel, we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay, what it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. My name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in the state of Florida and the state of Michigan. Uh, and I help people just like you buy, sell, invest, and relocate to the Tampa Bay area. And we've got people reaching out to us from all over the country, literally. Um, they're reaching out through text messages, phone calls, DMs on Instagram, um, email, and heck, there's even a link to my calendar down below. So if you've got any questions or you just want to talk about what's going on in the Tampa Bay area in terms of real estate, please do not hesitate. That is wide open. My calendar is wide open as well. If you see a hole there, go ahead and jump in if it makes sense for you. Uh, and we are getting calls from everywhere, guys. And even though things may be changing where you are locally, um, and they're changing a little bit here in terms of real estate as well, just because there's so much pressure going on on the economy right now. And if you guys watch any of my previous live streams, you can see we dig into those numbers every single Saturday I dig into those numbers so you can see what's going on here in Tampa specifically but I wanted to share this gem with you today because we're in Palm Harbor Florida which is on the northeast side of Tampa um, we're in Pinellas County and for those of you that don't know Tampa's in Hillsborough County and Pinellas County is on the Gulf of Mexico which you guys can see right here, right behind me here uh, beautiful little coastal town it is home to the Valspar PGA Tour um, in Innisbrook over there I'm gonna show you guys some of that today beautiful real estate great community um, it is home to you know great coastal community marinas uh, bars restaurants dining it's a really nice environment and the one thing i'll say is when you're looking for areas that you want to check check out and maybe move to the one thing that i do get asked a lot is about gated communities and while i feel that um i've never had any concern about my family safety and i'm not saying that it's safe because i'm not even allowed to say that legally but what i'll say is this i've never been concerned for my family safety here in pinellas county and pretty much in tampa for the most part are there areas i wouldn't go for sure but you know that's not to say something is safer, it isn't. But here's what I know. Um, according to niche.com, you know, Palm Harbor is, is one of the most desirable areas in all of uh, Pinellas County for sure, and all of Tampa. Um, it's got highly rated schools. It's got uh, a really nice community, uh, really highly desired neighborhoods. There's a lot of gated communities here as well. So if that's something that interests you, I would encourage you to check it out. But we're gonna tour the area today. You know, the one thing that I think is fascinating about Palm Harbor is it has access to a lot of great real estate including the Gulf. It just lives really well. There's so many amenities. We're right off of Highway 19 that runs all the way through the county. All the shopping you could ever ask for. Dining, it's all, you know, there's, it's everywhere. Um, you've got access to some incredible parks and I'm gonna take you to some of those today. You've got Honeymoon Island, Crystal Beach here, and just some gorgeous areas that you that you wanna take advantage of if you live in, in anywhere near the Bay. And one of the things I find fascinating about our area is that you can be at the beach or at a park within minutes right enjoying the time with you you know maybe your significant other or alone maybe you're a runner and the Pinellas Trail which we've discussed before is right off the the Crystal Beach here and that's a trail that runs from the north part of Pinellas County all the way to downtown St. Petersburg it's miles and miles and miles endless miles of trails that you can run or walk or take the dog for for a run with you too and I mean as you look out here the scenery is just absolutely incredible you got jet skis taken care of back there and then the housing like you know this is some really nice real estate if you think about it but we're gonna get into those things today and I don't mean to babble on I just I get a lot of questions about safety and as I've discussed before as a licensed real estate professional I can't tell you if things are safe or not but here's what I can do if you guys look in the description below you'll find links to greatschools.org uh, crime maps everything that you would need to make a qualified decision about is this the right place for me or not and I think that those things are are super important and I want to make sure that I do give you access to 
them. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. And also, if you get any value out of today's video, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, click that little bell. That way you can be notified every time we drop a new video like this. And today is Florida, y'all. It's one of those days, it's like 91 degrees. Being right by the water here gives you a little bit of reprieve, but when that sun, sun comes out, it definitely gets hot. So another question I get asked all the time. But what I wanna do is take you guys around the town, show you today, and we're gonna start in uh, Chestnut Park, which I think you're really going to enjoy. So let's go check that out right now. So we're here at John Chestnut Park, which is another just absolute gem here in Pinellas County. And the one thing I love about Pinellas County, and not just Palm Harbor, is the amount of parks that we have. And not just parks, I mean we have great parks. And this is one of them. It's right on, on top of Lake Tarpon, which is a five mile all sports lake, it's mile wide. You got residents uh, on one side, the park here on the other. Um, and, and we're in the northeast corner of uh, Palm Harbor, but this, this park here is just incredible. It's got 13 picnic areas, volleyball courts, softball field, horseshoe pits, two playground areas uh, that we just saw, a dog park, which is directly behind me here. And it ties directly into the Pinellas Trail. And I've told you guys about that before, but the Pinellas Trail literally runs the entire length of the county and goes all the way down into St. Petersburg. So if you wanted to take a really long bike ride, you could do that in one day. The covered trails you have here, everything is manicured for the most part but if you know this is definitely nature at its finest while we don't have a ton of hills here in florida we do have some amazing parks and today's florida y'all it's 93 degrees uh the humidity's up quite a bit but the thing about this park is there's so much greenery here that it, it really takes the edge off um you can see the dog park behind me here little little puppy run and this is huge this this here i don't know how how big it is entirely but from that edge all the way over to there has got to be the size of a football field. So there is plenty of room for Fido to run. Uh, we've got a Doberman. We love to get her outside and let her run. And this is a great place to do that. There are so many walking trails right along Lake Tarpon and there's the boat launch here as well. So if you're a boater, you know, come drop it in. It's all sports, lake, jet skis, boats. You can fish out there. The thing that is prohibited here is there's no swimming, um, but y'all, the Gulf of Mexico is just a few miles away. <laughs> so you can take care of that little itch if you need to scratch it. And I just love how this is set up. I mean, this is right off of McMillan Booth Road. It's easy access, and it's just one of many beautiful parks we have here in Pinellas County. I love it. We're gonna go check out a few more. And what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys just a quick glimpse of where the PGA Tour plays uh, the Valspar event every year. They've got a tour stop. I want you guys to check that out uh, in Sebrook and we're gonna go to that right now. to show you guys some real estate here right on the golf course in the Innisbrook community beautiful Mediterranean style homes uh, I actually showed this property last week for, uh, to a client um, who's looking to relocate to the area stunning it's a four bedroom four full baths um, 3,500 square feet walk out into the pool beautiful uh, golf course is right behind it but what's really cool is there's this berm behind it so you have all this privacy even though you back right up to a golf course i find it fascinating it's it's on a cul-de-sac as you guys can see around me and these homes are just stunning the neighborhood is beautiful um and i want to put some photos of the property right up in this corner here so you guys can see it but you know this home is listed currently at 1.1 1 .1, uh let's see one one million one hundred forty nine thousand nine hundred dollars and it's just gorgeous uh there's another home in the community that's currently listed at a million but this is the type of property you can expect to find in palm harbor at these price points gated private amenities galore there's a dog park uh, a kids park uh, tennis courts obviously the golf course um the salamander spa which is really well known a lot of people come to that and it's just absolutely stunning so not only do you have a gated private gorgeous community that is on a uh, world-renowned golf <laughs> golf course that holds the PGA Tour, but you also have access to just world-class amenities. So you definitely want to check this out. One 
of the things really cool about Palm Harbor is the fact that it has access to so many amenities. And right now I'm standing in the Caladesi Shopping Center, which is directly across the causeway here in Dunedin. Um, and I know we're talking about Palm Harbor today, but this is important to know because Palm Harbor is literally one block over. And this is the Publix you would use if you were on the southeast side of Palm Harbor, which would lead you right over to Honeymoon Island. Beautiful state park. I've done a video on it before. You should absolutely check that out. You know, and this shopping center here has Publix in it. Um, and I was looking at a, a property today for one of my clients, you know, in Palm Harbor, that's two neighborhoods over, you know, this is the, the shopping center that I have three minutes from their home. So Publix, you've got dental, you've got Publix liquor, nail salon. There's the truest bank right here on the corner. They also have a uh, clear vision. You know, there's access to just, you know, standard local amenities. And, and then as you cross over, um, onto the causeway over there. You've got Frenchie's Outpost, a couple of really good restaurants and access to marinas and um, you know uh, boat uh, providers there. You got boat vendors on the other side of it. So it's a really cool area, but I wanna show you this one little cool thing here and I'm hoping you're gonna be able to see. I can't put the drone up here. It's a little bit busy today and I don't wanna disrupt this guy, but we're right across the street from the, um, the water tower here in the community, but I'm hoping you guys can catch this. And man, look at that. That right there, y'all. That is a bald eagle. We have eagles here and he made his nest right on top of this lice post. So it's always fun to share that with you. I hope you guys can see that. Look at him right there, right there. So cool. I love living in Florida, y'all. You will too. So now we're wrapping up at our last stop of the day, which I'm sure you guys are gonna love. And technically we're not even in Palm Harbor anymore. We're in Dunedin. Um, and we just came over the, uh, the Dunedin Causeway here, which takes us out to Honeymoon Island. And the Dunedin Causeway, uh, if you're not familiar, is a two and a half mile uh, causeway that takes you out to Honeymoon Island, which is a state park. It's awesome. You can camp there overnight. It's incredible. Uh, but the causeway has a little bar and grill right behind me here, which is called High and Dry, and a kayak, sailboat, paddleboard rental here place, which is great. And you know, the causeway is wonderful. You want to come see a great place to come maybe see a dolphin, um, do some uh, swimming. Uh, do some fishing. This is definitely your spot. If you're a runner or a walker, I mean, you get to walk across the causeway all over the, the Gulf of Mexico here. And it's just absolutely incredible, but it's a very cool spot to come hang out. And y'all, I hope you had as good as time as I did today, touring Palm Harbor and checking out what you have access to. Um, you know, again, the, the housing is incredible. The community is wonderful. Uh, I think it's someplace you definitely want to check out if you're interested in the Tampa Bay area and making that relocation, you will not be disappointed. I would strongly encourage you to come check this place out. Um, and until next time, you know, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button click that little bell that way you can be notified reach out any way you want leave a comment below i'd love to know where you're watching from and it, like i said until next time go out and live that tampa life oh and one last little thing you want to know how i know it's four o'clock in florida we've got sun here <laughs> and i'm also being rained on you can set your clock to it summertime in florida somewhere between three and five o'clock it's gonna rain every day see you all next time